It's been 17 years since three out of four Jacksonville voters backed stronger protections of the city's trees, requiring anyone wanting to chop down a protected species to either replace it or pay to offset the damage. Well, supporters of that law say it's been crucial to keep the river city's a tree canopy healthy and keep the city beautiful. But a new bill could eliminate those protections and prohibit local lawmakers from doing anything about it. Our Ann Schindler is digging deeper tonight to find out more. How about them Jags? Hey. And how about our tree canopy? All right. Anna Dooley, executive director of Greenscape of Jacksonville, says her group is credited with planting 300,000 trees around the city. That's perfect. Today, they added three more. The event marked the kickoff of a statewide initiative. We'll hopefully stop a unthinkable bill in Tallahassee that's essentially going to prohibit local governments from regulating our local tree canopy. John Henry November, executive director of the Public Trust Environmental Legal Institute, says Senate Bill 574 would overturn tree ordinances in every city in Florida. Proposed by Sarasota Republican Greg Stubbe, the bill would eliminate local laws governing tree protection. We will not stand for Tallahassee coming in and telling our local delegations exactly what needs to be done with our tree canopy. This is a local issue. State Senator Audrey Gibson spoke against the bill today, as did Jacksonville City Council President Anna Brochet. This is about local folks, you know, making sure that we keep things local and that we govern ourselves. This bill is absolutely ridiculous. Janet Stanko with the Northeast Florida Sierra Club says the fact that Jacksonville voters approved tree protection by a vote of 76 percent shows that caring for the city's tree canopy is a community priority. We're not Miami. We're not Orlando. It's upsetting that our state legislators can be so arrogant as to think they can pass a state law that would undermine our local ordinances. Ann Schindler, First Coast News, on your side.